tried to kill me. <laughs> did. Not quite though, not quite. But, look. Look at this. Tried to shoot me in the arm. And a perfectly good shirt. I don't know where I stand now. Do I go on? Or does it all end here? I don't know. All I do know is, do not mess with uh, any Aluminium cans that uh, have no label on them. You never know what might be in them. Okay. But. Uh. It's here. Whatever it is, it's here. You're here, aren't you? You're here, eh? Here for me. You've taken care of him. Yeah, well, I've properly taken care of him now. Nothing left. You stopped, Reese. You stopped you. Oh, you're not gonna stop me. Because I've got a knife. <laughs> and I am very, very good with knives. You know that. I've unboxed so many things. I've gotten quite used to them, actually. Yeah. And this one's a Stanley one, one of the sharpest knives that I own. convinced I can't use it. Don't make me do this to an innocent bottle of an empty Pepsi Max raspberry. So far it's just a scratch. But maybe I might make things more permanent. No. All right. I'm disarmed. Come on then. Take me now. Come on. been completed yet and oh boy I can't die yet not until this video is over well ladies and gentlemen welcome to Doctor Who items to a box 20 
Okay, it's a box and my tripod has gone walkabout again. So <clears throat> I'm literally bouncing this on some um, DC figures. <laughs> Yay. Okay, Bobby, you just walk on back. And, and my phone is getting notifications. Isn't that lovely? my little invoice right uh, I'm just have to lift the camera up for this so we've got some foam thing you just got a little glimpse Ooh, what could it be well uh, all of this cost me um, all this stuff in this box cost me 20 pound and uh, the delivery was six quid oh well it all lifts up at once so the box can shift out of the way. And we'll put that down there. And we'll put this back down. Show the thing on top first. Now this is now this is a Tenth Doctor's flight control TARDIS in box. Um, the tape has been cut, so it isn't brand new, but still though, an in box one. Um, not that easy to find. And wow, look at the CGI on the back here. But hey, holographic sticker. However, that is just like a nice little bonus thing. Another little bonus thing, another tenth got to Sonic. Which doesn't feel like it's got a button. I'm curious about this. Oh my god. See, so when I press down there, I can't feel a button. Right, now I'm curious. But you know what? We'll leave that to later. <coughs> this is the thing that I wanted. And if we just get in the light, there we go. Yes, it is a Comet Dalek model kit. And just look at that artwork, it looks absolutely lovely. And wow, the original price of this from Galaxy 4 was $19.99. <clears throat> Got some nice other images on the side of the box, just there. Lovely jovely more information and same image as that and made in England you don't see that these days do you of anything um, can I just get this lid off so wow everything that's in here so a instruction manual and ooh, product what is this Oh, you're joking. <laughs> oh, this is good. Hang on. It's a boot. It's a products enterprise. A uh, little booklet here. Showing off some of their stuff. Oh, I didn't realise they did mechanoids. And. Hooray! They're talking Daleks. And. Wait. Wait a minute. Dalek play cake. They would never. Okay, I've got the grey one, though I don't believe there was ever any other releases. At least I've never seen them on eBay before. Or any other mention of them. It's interesting. There's any more stuff in here, though. And some of their statues as well. Yeah, I might do an, a video just on this, to be honest. But yeah, here's the kit. Um, I haven't checked to see if it's missing any parts. If it is or it isn't. There's also a big bag in the bottom. Which I'm assuming it's got other parts in it. 
But uh, to be honest, I don't think I'll be building this one because I would like to have at least uh, one Dalek uh, Comet Dalek model kit, you know, unused, unassembled in its box, like so. So, but yeah, that just looks. Just look at the artwork on that. It looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to go off camera and unscrew this because I'm curious to why I can't feel the button. Has it snapped off or something? But, yeah. Alright, so we have a big box and we have my dog, Bobby. Okay, that's made it pretty obvious what it is. Uh, yep, it's a movie, Dalek. Hooray. Um, I got this on eBay. Um, it cost me, I think it was... 40, 40, maybe 50 pounds. I can't exactly remember what it was after the postage, um, but yeah. That's how much it cost me. Which is a really good price considering it's also a box one as well. Because uh, movie Daleks do not pop up on eBay uh, that often. Um, and when they do, they normally go for an absolute fortune. But this seller. Basically, they want, they put it up on eBay initially for £5 for bidding, and then I messaged them saying, look, will you accept um, £40, I think I offered them, and they said, yeah, sure, why not? Anyway, let's lift the camera up. Uh, it's on my small tripod today, but yeah. You know what, you know what? Put, the, put the camera down somewhere. Little tripod, uh, just so I can... Try and get this all this in. But they have packaged it pretty well, which is good. I can't remember whether they said this was working or not. Um, I assume probably. Normally, because obviously the movie dance were among the last stuff that kind of enterprise released so generally out of all the stuff there normally the stuff that is working as you can see there it is the silver movie dike with look at the eye now that is different this is one of the earlier product enterprise ones something i didn't mention in my review of uh, these is that there were two versions of uh, the movie Daleks. One with the larger pupil, like this, the big white one, and the ones with the smaller pupil. Now, I've now got both variants of the silver. Um, let's just get them out of his box. Box, remarkably good condition. You can see here, it's even got the original uh, piece of insurance. Very thin paper. But, uh, yeah, let's get him out. Is that right? So, just looking at him. Yeah, that's really good condition. It's a bit of white stuff on there. I don't know, is, is that just dust or is it drugs or what? That's my dog squeaking in the background. Yeah, he should be in good. The only thing I can see wrong with it is that. Uh, this bit here, it's a little bit crinkled just around there. Though so that could just be because it's slided up a bit too much. What, Bobby? What? Easy, easy. Obviously, we've got the remote over there as well. What is it, my boy? What is it, my boy? This will just be footage of Bobby from now on. Uh, don't lick it. You don't know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it's gone. Actually, I know what that is. That white stuff. It's fucking talcum powder. This thing's this whole the whole Dalek stinks of talcum powder. Yeah. So I was just wondering, what is that white powdery stuff on the bottom? It's fucking talcum powder. Like, it's, yeah, yeah, that's fucking talcum powder. I've never had that one before. Talcum powder on a Dalek. 
Well, that's certainly an interesting one. Um, I don't know. Do I have any batteries for this? I don't know. Because um, I don't know if I've got any that actually have any juice in them. But uh, you know what? I'll go and find some. Excuse me. I'll just see out of the batteries that I've got. Here's my battery box. Which is a lot smaller than it used to be. Uh, because I've basically been chucking batteries out, but let's see. Have I even got six double A's? I've got four there. Oh well, um hmm. Five. I don't know if these work actually. That's Sony battery, definitely. That one works. Um, right. It's be interesting. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll get a palatoid Dalek because I know my palatoid Dalek has a. Uh, well, my palatoid Daleks, they all have good batteries in them, so they all should work. So let's get the batteries out of my palatoid. So these ones are good. So yeah, let's just see if he works. He should work, surely he's got to work. I mean I mean, you know, it won't it will be disappointing obviously if he doesn't. Though even if he doesn't, to be honest, I could probably get him working. I mean I've got I've already got one that works. Oh dear, Bobby, you knocked all that over. I've already got one that works, so to be honest, an extra one that works. It's just nice to have it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, put, his, put his batteries in. I can't, I literally, I mean, I... As well. Actually, you know, take that one out and put a good one in. They might as well be good batteries. And, um... Now, something I didn't do when I did the Chrome Movie Dalek is that I forgot to put the aerial in. With these, you really have to put the aerial in because otherwise the range of these is absolutely pathetic. Um, I just put my screw... I was going to say, where the hell is my screw going? But yeah, just to demonstrate this quickly, and this is 27 mHz as well. Even if this guy doesn't work with me, it could be the batteries. Um, because these things have been sitting in there for god knows how long. Oh no, he's working. Actually, um, let's just put him up. So yeah, he's fully working. Just click. Oh, oh, oh no, he's not. I thought he was missing a strut, though. It's just, yeah, that strut is a. I thought he was missing a strut. He's not, but that one is about to snap off. Uh, right, so that's interesting. Um, what I'll do in that case is, um, I don't have time to glue it right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is get a bit of duct tape. And uh, if you have any product enterprise Daleks, you can do this yourself. Just until um, I'm able to glue it in place, what I'm going to do is just put a bit of... There you go. Just going to put a bit of duct tape around there just to hold it in the box until I have time to glue it uh, back in place just so it doesn't go loss. Loss? It doesn't go missing or anything. But you can see there, the only pupil is much larger on this one and I think the reason why is because essentially it's the eye with uh, obviously with the iris with just the pupil being paint being done white as well which is why it's much larger on this one than it was on the later release where they actually made um, the pupil smaller 
So yeah, this is all lovely jubbly, isn't it? It's a very nice cover of the movie, Dalek. Hooray! Okay, so this time we've got two boxes here. I've lost my tripod again. Um, I literally, I don't know where it's gone, my uh, proper one. But anyway, let's start with uh, this box. So what the hell am I going to open it? Okay, I figured out how I'm going to open it. Now, I can see what it is, but you can't. So it gives the surprise. I already guessed what, we're, what it was anyway, due to the size of the box, but you guys have no fucking idea. Come on, open! You want me to get inside you, don't you? Don't you, Box? Yes, you may be a bit reluctant, but you truly do want me to get inside of you. And I keep getting sellotape on me. Ooh, do -do. Do -do -do -do. There it is, an inflatable movie Dalek. Um, I think this cost me £15, including the postage. So yeah, uh, box is a little bit beaten up, but it does have its original, well, it's a rig and its original price was £25. Yeah, I remember seeing these in Forbidden Planet, and you know what, I always wanted one, but they were so expensive, but obviously this one, We've got the red, and again, lovely, lovely, lovely artwork on these. Um, it does remind me a lot of, less of uh, the actual radio-controlled movie dogs, more of the movie Dalek Rollikins, actually. But anyway, here's some information. Here's a bit more information. There's some more information. There's a number. Ooh. And Asham's favourite side onion. But yeah. Oh, what's this? Straight inside the box. We've got instructions. I will do whatever that is, but this is actually sealed uh, up in this bag. There's a bit of a rip in the bag, though it's never actually. Oh, my dog is sneezing. This thing has never actually been out of the bag. You can see there, there's a bit of dust there. Hello, Bobby. Okay then. But yeah, this thing is sealed up in the bag. I don't know whether to actually take it out of the bag, uh, to be honest. Because, um, to be honest, it was more the fact of having it. I, I, to be honest, I probably like the box art better, but you know what, we can have a closer look at the Dalek just so you can see all of them now generally on eBay you'll come across the gold one the most and uh, probably the black one the least black and the silver the least uh, and red is kind of a bit in the middle ground but for some reason the gold is uh, the most common but uh, this one was exclu exclusive to GexRetro.co.uk. I believe the gold was exclusive um, to the sci fi collector, and I believe the black, I don't know where the black and silver were exclusive to, but the thing is, I remember seeing uh, all the different colours at Forbidden Planet. So I don't know if it was just a mistake or something, but uh, let's have a nice another look at that artwork, shall we? Yeah, that looks really nice. Lovely, 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 lovely. But yeah, like something, uh, 
let's uh, go open the other thing, shall we? Okay, so we've got another thing, and I think you know how these go. It's very sticky. Well, that was anticlimactic. So, we've got two, count them, two uh, vinyl records. Uh, I apologise for that noise. My mum is drying her hair. Oh, my back is killing me. Uh, but anyway, um, let's take a look at them, shall we? So, this one, I believe, is from 83, and the other is... Who is it? One from 83... One's from 83, the other is from 85, I believe. But yeah, nice, nice, lovely artwork. You can see that it says, The BBC Radiophonic Workshop. And at the top it says, Doctor Who, the music. And on the back is a massive uh, track list with some information. So, hooray, 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 read. Read, people. Read it all. Because I cannot be fucking asked. Just read it. Yes. Read it. Okay, you're done reading it? Good. Interesting how they have um, the uh, Baker era logo on the back. And, you know, the Davison slash Baker. <laughs> Slash mm, bent for Colin, huh? And here's Bobby come to say hello. Now, this one, the artwork is well, not as nice as the other. Bobby, out the way, out the way, Bobby. But uh, this one isn't as all right. So I'm back and with no results because. I can't get this cap off. It feels like it's been glued on. And, no, the end bit hasn't. The end bit hasn't been glued on, but that cap, no matter how much I pulled on it, it will not come off. Like, seriously. I don't know, should I get my knife under it? It's not doing anything. It just will not come off. At all. Nah, no matter how much I try, I cannot get the cap off. That's all, so... Yeah, interesting. It doesn't feel like there's a button in here, because normally when you click, you can feel the button press down on it. I think this has probably been broken... <coughs> excuse me, at some point, And they've just glued it back together. But that doesn't matter, hey. For 20 quid, plus £6 delivery. Not a bad deal. Alright, so I'm back and with no results because I can't get this cap off. It feels like it's been glued on. And, no, the end bit hasn't. The end bit hasn't been glued on, but that cap, no matter how much I pulled on it, it will not come off. Like, seriously, I don't know, should I get my knife under it? It's not doing anything, it just will not come off. At all. Nah, no matter how much I try, I cannot get the cap off. At all, so... Yeah, interesting. It doesn't feel like there's a button in here, because normally when you click, you can feel the button press down on it. I think this has probably been broken... <coughs> excuse me, at some point. And they've just glued it back together. Well, that doesn't matter. Hey. For 20 quid plus £6 delivery. Not a bad deal. Alright, so I took that 10th Dr. Sonic screwdriver apart eventually. And um, what I did is basically um, I essentially just uh, stuck in the freezer for a bit so I could remove the screw, which what did seem to be glued in there. But you can see that there's no circuitry or anything whatsoever. It is just completely blank. And also, this is this is a very smooth piece here. 
Now here's an electrical version, obviously just a bog standard one. Now I don't know whether the person has removed the electronics or this is possibly a prototype. You can see the plastic is slightly different as well. Uh, which is a bit odd, but also there's no metal um, screw bit in there, the screw was literally held in with a dab of glue, so whether the person has removed the electronics from this or not. I don't think there's any speaker or any circuitry in there because it feels much lighter. Um, and there isn't actually an... It's hard to see on camera but there we go if I catch it. There's no LED. Need that an LED there. There's just a hole. So this means one of two things. Either the previous owner has removed the circuitry which is unlikely but it is possible, or this is some sort of prototype, or something along those lines. If anyone can tell me what this is, then you know, uh, please let me know. But it is exceedingly interesting. But yeah, yeah. I don't think this is the this isn't the original aerial because that's where it's supposed to go. But you can see it's too long. I thought it seemed a bit long, that and it was just shoved in there loosely but it fits it nonetheless so eh, whatever but yeah that was just something excuse me that I'd point out okay so next box and I have a feeling I know what's in this one as well I hope what's inside isn't as beat up as this uh, box is come on I do need to get a new Stanley knife though. I mean, this thing's from Poundland. Or oh, is it the 13th Dr. Sonic screwdriver? Well, we've got newspaper rather than a load of bubble wrap, which is nice. Because newspaper is much easier to get up and clean up and doesn't make a fucking mess. Let's just make sure there's... Oh, there's nothing worse. But here it is, it's a standard silver product enterprise. Uh, Dalek. Couple of strucks missing from the gun there. But um, I picked this up for £20 I think it was. 15, 20 quid, something along those lines. It's missing the battery hacks, but the thing is, that doesn't matter. And the reason that doesn't matter, excuse me, is I'm going to be using this for parts, uh, basically, because uh, mainly a circuit board. Now, I do need to check uh, to make sure that this thing uh, works, because the seller didn't have the remote, so they were unable to test. Uh, that's the. Uh, I'll probably test that off camera. We'll meet you to watch that. But anyway, uh, basically, I have a load of red and I have three red and black um, product enterprise TV Daleks. Even though obviously they were never seen on TV, and uh, none of them work. And basically, uh, I've been trying to get some spare product enterprise Daleks. Particularly the 27 megahertz one, which is this one, so uh, so I can have one. Basically, swap the electricals so that they do work. Seems simple, isn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, Project Enterprise Galaxy have become uh, a bit more expensive recently, and uh, my dog is uh, chewing on something he probably shouldn't. I will go and stop him. But anyway, so that's why I've got this. Yay! Okay, now I'm gonna go scot my dog from doing stuff. So yeah. And there was a jump cut there because I get no fucking privacy. So fuck the rest of them. Uh, this is titled The Music 2 and the artwork is nowhere near as nice as on the other. But yeah, this will be the one that's from 85. You can see the track listings there. Sykes lovely with some more information.
yay, and even more information, and st stuff up there. Yeah, actually, it says up there 1985. So yeah, let's uh, get get the mouse. So yeah, they're just simple black vinyl with a quite a uh, very easy sticker on there. Oh dear. Oh, bit, yeah, it's the exact same on the other side. It's just a cheap paper sleeve. Bobby, will you make it? He's standing on my hand. Bobby, will you make your mind up where you're gonna go? Let's see, and this one. Ooh, this one is not just good peel, plain paper. This one, yeah, it's more like what I recognise, rather than a weird multicoloured one on the other. But yeah, I pick, I, I got these off eBay, obviously together, and they cost me, I think, about a fiver, including the postage. I know I, I paid next to nothing for them, so, and they're in remarkably good condition. I mean, there's a couple of dings on the corners, but other than that, they do seem in really good uh, condition, so I look forward to uh, playing them on my turntable. Yay. You happy? Eh? Ay, 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 but yeah. It's nice to have, isn't it? Alright, apologies uh, for the angle and that, but hey, I'm having to do this quick. Uh, but I reckon this thing is from Big Finish. It normally is. And it is! And it's upside down. But yeah, uh, this is uh, <coughs> the uh, Warmaster uh, Volume 2. You know what? I'm actually fully, I, I've literally, uh, this came extremely quickly, this came, uh, I think the day after, at the time of recording this, it came, I believe the day after it was released, which is unusually quick for Big Finish, so I've only uh, listened to the first half of the first story, so I can't really, you know, uh, tell you anything about it, but interestingly, which is a slight disappointment, rather than being on, um, for individual discs, which it normally is, it's uh, just gonna uh, double jewel case this time around. Unfortunately, you know what? Let's grab the camera. Show it to you properly. Yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, I do I do quite like it when it's in individual ones. But unfortunately, uh, the first one wasn't. I don't think. I can't remember. It's in a. Well, to be honest, it's in this massive box here, full of all my big finishes, but yeah, it's... I'm slightly disappointed that actually it isn't, but, you know... Yeah. It is, it is what it is, and that's, but it is disappointing that big finish, you know, kind of skimped on the packaging a bit with this one, because I do like it when they are individual, um, jewel cases, uh, in here, especially, you know, for the price of them and that, it, it does make it nice, but this... Unfortunately, it does feel a lot cheaper, and the cardboard feels a lot flimsy as well. So that's a unfortunate. But yeah, you get some nice artwork. We've got Derek Jacobi and two red-eyed dudes. And uh, interestingly, I'm just looking at. Ah, well, you can read that synopsis. I'm not going to because um. <clears throat> I'm go. I like to go into these blind, and plus I can't be asked to read it. <laughs> uh, I have obviously I've listened to the trailer for it though. The trailer basically just plays the first opening monologue. Uh, that's at the very start of this. That's what the trailer is. But yeah, it's nice to have, and uh, it, obviously it's been, I think, exactly a year. The last one came out in December last year, I can't remember December the what, but, you know, we'll see if this is good as the first one, because the first one was phenomenally good, it was really, really a, one of the best big finished box sets that we'd had in quite a while, so, will this one live up to it? I can't see yet, 
But uh, yeah. Because of Mortimer. I found them, Chimnall. I found them. The bones. Is that all that's left of you, Chimnall? Other than the paper, the bones. Yeah. I'm not sorry. That's exactly what you deserve. But I'm just going to make sure he's not going to do it to me as well. Or anyone else. Where are you? I was looking. It's not over. Why can't it be over? Have I not gone through enough torment and agony for you yet? No. Never enough. Never enough. Perhaps. I just need the right tools for the job and the right tools to end you. All I need is two strong pairs of hands and a pole with a scabby scabby part on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <sighs>